YouTube? We got BTS comeback. The comeback trailer. The comeback trailer. They really love those dots. They do. We don't normally do trailers of any type or teasers, but we're making an exception. so much raw emotion behind it with that guy. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of their lyrics reflect their experiences. Mm -hmm. And what happened, you know, not too long ago was there was an underground rapper named Be Free. Okay. He was holding an interview with yeah. with BTS, with a couple members of them. And he kind of called out Rap Monster and so he was like, yo, you know, you guys didn't follow the same path as us. You guys, he basically disrespected them for, yeah getting to the idol status. He called them okay. sellouts, you know, and said they're, you know, they're just wearing a bunch of like makeup and, you know, dancing around and he basically said they're not as good as him because he followed the path of a true underground rapper and they didn't. I feel that that could be a hmm, that could go so many different ways. It's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna use Jonas Brothers as an example. You know, I'm sorry they took a different path than anyone else did. I'm sorry that, you know, Eminem and uh, P. Diddy took a different path than uh, Usher did. You know, it's it's one of those things where, you know, people take their own path because they want to take their own path. They don't have to follow a set guide just because they're yeah. from a certain area. I agree, and I think regardless of whether or not what he said, be free, whether or not what he said is true... I think that a public setting isn't the time or the place to do that. I think that's kind of disrespectful. You know, I, I, I don't know Be Free, but he seems like kind of a prideful person to each, like call each one of, out. Each of them has respect for a different reason. And Be Free has his respect because he did what he did. And BTS has respect because they did what they wanted to do. Exactly. Like, it, it's cool if Be Free decides to stay on the path as an underground rapper, but I think it's uncool for him to slander someone who decides to go on a different path. It doesn't mean it's a less path or a greater path. It's different. You know, it's a completely different path. And, and it's just, BTS is still allowed to do what they want to do. It's just that they have other forces that are acting upon them saying, you know, hey, we want this. Hey, we want this. Exactly. Be Free doesn't have those forces saying, hey, we want you to do this. It's just him doing what he wants to do. BTS can still do somewhat what they want to do. It's just well, they, yeah, that, know, they that, have, that's exactly they right. They have ratings that are kind of driving what they're actually releasing. Well, that's, that's his problem because Be Free is assuming that they're sellouts because mm -hmm. they chose a different path, but he doesn't know that the idol, idol status mm -hmm. was something that they preferred in the first place. Yeah. That would have been what they wanted. 
mm -hmm. just not what he wanted. So they wanted different things. Final thought, I just feel like Be Free and anyone else who would like criticize BTS might be just a little bit more prideful and image obsessed than the people that they accuse. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the recommendation. We normally wouldn't have watched this, but you guys requested it so much. I was like, all right, gotta do it. <laughs> this brought up some controversy and... We gave our opinions. Comment, like, subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next BTS video. Peace.